my dear heart dwellers, I want to share with you a vision from an extremely reliable prophet, Henry Groover, of Joyful Sound Ministries. He's gone to be with the Lord now, but he was the one who walked all over the world, blessing places, every place that he went to. And some places he saw that were dedicated are going to be destroyed, and he could not bless them. But many other places he blessed and spent his whole life doing that and talking about what he saw, warning the American people especially. He's had at least two prophetic visions of America's coming destruction. One was in 1986 while he was in Wales, and the other was in 1990 while he was in Portland, Oregon. The 1986 vision occurred prior to occurrence of Glasmost and Perestroika in the USSR. The first vision shows the coming destruction, and the second shows God's protection of his faithful. It begins 1986. I was in Wales on December 14, 1986. I went up on top of the Eagle Tower and Cavernon Castle. It had eight points on it. Each of the points on it were eroded eagles. The castle was built in the 12th century. I was looking over the Irish Sea toward the North Sea, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the tip of Scotland, Greenland, and Iceland in that area. All of a sudden I was up above the earth looking down upon the earth like a globe. As I looked down on the earth, I saw all of these massive amounts of all kinds of ships and airplanes. They were coming up from above Norway out of an inlet. They headed down between the United States and Europe. They literally covered the whole Atlantic. Then I wanted to see what was happening to the United States. I looked over on the globe at the United States. I saw coming out of the United States these radio communication towers. I saw the jagged lines like they were drawn to show the communications are coming out. All of a sudden, as I was looking down on them, they began to sparkle down to the earth like dust. I thought, oh no, they're not getting through. They don't know what's going to happen. They don't know what is happening. They're totally oblivious. Then I began to see all of these submarines emerging from under the surface. I was surprised at how close they were to our borders. They were in our territorial waters. Then I saw the missiles come out of them. They hit eastern coastal cities of the United States. I looked over across the country where my family was in the northwest side and I saw the submarines. I saw the missiles coming out and hitting the western coastal cities. I cried out and said, Oh God, oh God, when will this be and what shall be the sign of its coming? I heard an audible voice speak to me and say, When Russia opens her doors and lets the masses go, the free world will occupy themselves with transporting, housing, and feeding, and caring for the masses, and will let down their guard with their weapons and cry peace and safety. Then, sudden destruction will come. And that was the end of that particular vision. In January 1990, he was in St. John's in North Portland, Oregon. He began... I saw missiles coming out of the waters of the Pacific Ocean, airplanes coming in toward certain cities along the Northwest. When it looked like they would do their devastation, I heard a voice speaking from heaven like thunder. It said, Watch what I will do. 
The mountains along the coastal range began to shake and tremble, and puffs of smoke shot out of them in all directions into the paths of the missiles and the planes. The missiles just hit the ground and didn't explode. The smoke had destroyed the missiles' ability to navigate, to fly through the air, and they didn't hit their targets. It was also like shields or domes came over certain cities. Even the contaminated air couldn't go into those areas. It went around them. I saw many vehicles coming in on our waters, like ships opened up in the front, and all these personnel carrying things came out armored right up on our beaches and all these thousands of people began to head out. I saw the proud look on the faces of those who were driving the vehicles. I heard again the thunderous voice from the heavens. Watch what I will do. Suddenly the mountains puffed out smoke and rivers of golden lava began flowing down a path right across the beaches in front of the invaders. Terror came on their faces, and they turned back and headed to the sea, fleeing for their lives as the waters behind them turned to steam. And the Lord said, I have people in this land that I will not let them touch, for they are mine. They are my chosen, and I will keep my chosen safe, for I have a work for them to do yet in this land and in many lands. And that was the end of that message. Just wanted to share this with you so you'd be aware of it. The coastal mountains are getting active again right now. And the Blessed Mother told us everything would happen at once. The war, explosions, earthquakes, Everything would begin to happen at the same time. Tsunamis, it's definitely something we want to pray for mercy and keep our hearts focused on the Lord and on repentance, especially if we live in those areas. The Lord bless you, dear ones.